go. Uh, it's horrible. It was, you know, we're, we're making progress. We're not there yet, but we're making progress. It's good to be outdoors. It's certainly good to be outside. Everybody practice? Any injury problems? We're, we're in pretty good shape. I think uh, you know, a couple guys we rested today, but we have a chance to have everybody ready for the game, so that's that's a positive. Even days? Yeah, he's making progress. You know, he's not uh, game speed yet, but he's getting closer and uh, has been working pretty extensively this past week. So, you know, we'll uh, see what the next couple days. He's got a couple days rest here, or a day to rest, so it's going to help him a little bit. What can you tell us about Jay Strauss? What would you like to know? Well, just a little, just no. Like, he's about noticed, six foot one, well, and uh, we noticed, he's an Aquarius. <laughs> no, we noticed he wasn't uh, in like full pads there at the beginning. Of yeah. practice, he's so. a little bit limited right now, but mm -hmm. we expect we expect everybody ready to go. What about as far as you got him up here earlier to a little bit acclimate to the weather and stuff? Is this what you're expecting game day or cool? Yeah, or? You know, it's it's really uh, it's hard to predict. Last night was a beautiful night here. Uh, mm -hmm. you know, don't worry. Uh, cover up or a, whatever you call it a pullover uh, outdoors so I mean it wouldn't, wouldn't be affect the game probably the biggest thing you know we got out here a couple days ago and uh, the breeze was really kicking up and we you know we haven't kicked the ball or thrown a ball in any kind of wind conditions now so uh, that's important I think uh, you know obviously we're not gonna be playing in daylight but uh, you know, just to be outdoors it's a little bit different feel so that's been a good thing and we're on on natural grass again which we'll be playing on you yeah. talked about what it was like having Coach Parcells at practice yesterday, being able to talk to him. That was him. great. It was really uh, an honor for, for everybody involved, uh, myself included. And uh, it was We're very appreciative that he took time to speak to the team. He delivered a great message. And, uh, you know, it was really, I think, an, just an exciting moment for all of us. Do you think he'll go over to Georgia Tech? <laughs> uh, I, think th I think they said it was a little tough getting in over there. So, <laughs> you know, I think they got locked up. A couple of our pl the players, uh, well, you got to tomorrow off, right? Uh, yeah, tomorrow's a lift day. And right. a couple of your players say you have not been to South Beach yet and that they want to take you. <laughs> Are they buying? <laughs> if they're buying, I'll go. I don't think any of us can afford it. <laughs> okay. That's one nice thing about being out there. You know, they, they got a big deal at our hotel on New Year's Eve, right? Our, you know, our guys will last about five minutes at that thing, money-wise. I mean, you know, <laughs> we, we can't hang in this club, I'll they're, tell you that. Huh? They're, they're all talking about uh, Lady Gaga and, you know, all, I've, all I've heard anywhere from 450 to 800 for general admission. <laughs> so, you know, the bull money, you know, those their per diem is not anywhere close to that. So <laughs> I think we're all safe. I think they're all in trouble. That's against the rules. I'm not doing it. <laughs> I still like having a New Year's Eve off and no game the next day. With this has really been, uh, I think all of us feel really discombobulated right now. I, I don't know if it's uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. It's kind of like a Thursday for us, but it's kind of like a Sunday too because uh, tomorrow is our Monday game week-wise. So uh, this is really strange. It's been strange uh, for about two weeks now just trying to get our bearings straight. Is it distracting you think about all that social Hollywood type stuff around your hotel while uh, you've got the game and that going that, on? Not really. I mean, you know, a couple of the guys, I think uh, Jamie Foxx rode up next to him the other day and asked him if they were football players because they're all large guys. Uh, and that, that's not something that happens too often in Iowa City. But, um, you know, I think for the most part, yeah, it, the guys are having a great time. They're really enjoying it. But uh, like I said, probably the nicest thing about it, I know they can't afford to do too much, so it's, it's good. You know? I noticed some switching around on the O-line. You got uh, Callaway inside, Roof outside. Is that just experimentation because yeah. of what Georgia Tech presents? No, no. We're just fooling around stuff. We always do that. And, yeah, we worked a lot of combinations today. How does, how does it look like the preparation as far as for Georgia Tech looks right now? I, I think, you know, thank goodness we've had a lot of time uh, to, first of all, just digest the film. So, you know, we, we've got a good look at it. And, uh, you know, you, that part's been a positive. Uh, the, the real challenge is trying to simulate uh, what they do, you know, because uh, you know we don't have those kind of athletes. Uh, start at the quarterback, the A back, uh, you know, the receivers and uh, their B backs too. So, and, and their line just executes with great precision. They're they're really well coached, and everything about what they do is so different. Not just the, the attack itself, but the way they block and do things. So, um, you know, they put a lot of pressure on you every position. But the biggest thing is trying to simulate it. Uh, with the speed and precision that they do. There's no way we could do that. Even if we took our first offense, we couldn't come close. So that, that's that's the biggest challenge. But but at least we're seeing a lot of looks at it. We're seeing it in meetings, that type of thing. But, uh, you know, it's going to probably take a while to, you know, really get the feel for it. How is Riley adapted to the right, moving side to side? He's fine. I mean, he's, he's fine. I mean, we, we do this stuff all year round, so it's not like it's a big deal. You know, he's fine. 
David Cato had an accident over break. I think it was Christmas. I'm not sure. Yeah. Is he all right? And is he playing? And is that? I, th- I that? think it was. Was it coming back? I think it was coming I, I back from Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. I think. Yeah. I'm. I'm. I'm like in a. Uh, I can't remember if it was a week ago or six weeks, but <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's after. He's he's been fine. Yeah, absolutely fine. Unfortunately, the. Uh, uh, gentleman, gentleman he was with, I think, was uh, spent the night in the hospital, but he was released that night, and he's, he's fine. playing and everything. Mm-hmm. Yep. How, how about academics? Everybody as far on as track? Yeah, as far as I know, they've been working on the grades, and I think we're, I don't want to say we're out of the woods, but I think we are. Yep. How long has Jordan been practicing, and how's he Thank doing? He, he's been back, uh, you know, again, I'm, I'm a little fuzzy, but I think, you know, pretty much since we got back from Thanksgiving. Uh, he started, you know, it might have taken a week or two to get him integrated full speed, but he's, he's doing great, really well. Uh, really, to my knowledge, no limitations right now. You haven't seen any. Is Jeff Brinson doing anything? He's what, what working he? back, you know, he's working back. I, yeah, I said, well, everybody healthy. Obviously, the guys that had yeah. surgeries earlier, uh, you know, they're, they're not going to play. What did he uh, with, with, that, with the exception of days, but it's just, you know, it's an ankle yeah. issue, and it's just, you know, it's going to take a while, but he's doing better. So the practice for those guys is just to get them back in the routine more than the game prep kind of thing. Get them. Well, you know, you Jordan. Know. Yeah, Jordan's yeah. able to practice, which yeah. is great, and uh, so he's getting a lot of good work and uh, helping against our offense. Yeah. This is for the future, in other words. Yeah, because yeah. he's not going to play. We're not yeah. going to use his year of eligibility. Yeah. But uh, and then the guys like Brinson and uh, Cheney, uh, Hampton, they're all they're all you know working hard on the rehab right now, and you know it's a race against the clock there. Where's okay. Cheney at in his rehab and? Is he going to be able to do any track this spring, or is that going to be? You know that I don't know. Uh, I haven't thought too much about that, but uh, we'll, we'll hold him out of spring ball. We're not going to have him do that. That's for sure. Anything else, guys? Did, didn't hurt to ask this question to Adrian the other day. Is there any news report on the NFL front? Yeah, I think we're about where we were. You know, they'll. Uh, you know, they've. Uh, we've shared information. The information I've gathered, shared that with the players and. Uh, you know, just encourage uh, both guys right now not to be thinking about that. Think about this game. It's, if, if they are going to go, that's the best thing they can do. Play well this this last game, and uh, if they're not going to go, who are the you two know, guys? You would hope they play well anyway. Uh, Log and, and Spy Bay. So you know, we'll just we'll handle that after the game. How about with Dace with next year? Uh, we've Same. talked, but you know, I just told him what I learned, and uh, you know, we'll talk after the game. But I think right now he's just worried about the game too. Were you? Uh, Happy about Adrian and well, how thrilled? Not happy, thrilled. <laughs> uh, you know, I think pretty good recruit. Yeah, uh, we, we can't recruit anybody close to him, and uh, you know, he's not only a great, great football player, but he's a great leader too, and that's uh, very, very important. So, uh, yeah, and that's not even close. We couldn't recruit anybody close to being what he could, how he can impact our team next year.